at around 5.25 p.m. Serrano enters Erie Manufacturing. He goes into the business. The door's left open because Diane Petiso is coming there to pick up her husband and her brother. He walks into his old office, where he finds Frank Dasso, George Petiso, and his former partner, George Gonsalves. As he comes into the office, I'm sure they all start approaching him. He's in the doorway, tells him to get down. As they're getting down, we feel that boom, boom. He shoots George Gonzalez and George Petiso immediately. Well, Frank Dasso is in another part of the office. He walks over and he shoots Frank behind the head. It's at this point, investigators believe, that Serrano leaves his footprint on the vinyl chair. He steps up on the chair, moves a ceiling tile, and takes out a 32. He knows that he had left a gun in the ceiling tile that he used to hide up there, according to one of the former employees. Serrano then hears Diane enter the building. He chases her down with a 32, and you can tell because there was hair in her hand where he must have caught her and grabbed her you know, back of the hair because she reaches back. And in her own hand, you know, is her hair. So he shoots her with a 32. Serrano throws things around to make it look like a robbery then heads for Tampa Airport. The plane is leaving at 8.20 p.m. That's an hour from Bartow to Tampa. He doesn't have any luggage check-in, so he gets on the flight, and he's back in Atlanta at 9.49 p.m. He then is shown on the video at the hotel back there at 10.17 p.m. Having coffee, you know, talking with people like nothing occurred. <laughs> 